Hey, welcome back to the channel. Just finishing up a morning guide trip. Let me ask you a question. What do you get when you combine the dog days of August with the shallow water swamps in Florida with a world famous top water prop bait? Stay tuned, you're about to find out. In the peak of summer, we try to start our trips at first light to beat the midday heat and potential for rainstorms, which make for some amazingly gorgeous morning runs and sunrises. One of the first baits I throw when exploring shallow water is a topwater prop bait, like an old devil's horse. This bait is amazing around shallow cover as you can work it slower than a walking bait or a buzz bait. Whenever you're throwing top water, it's good to keep a follow-up bait like a fluke ready. Many times, the fish will miss the surface lure, but will take the fluke if you throw it to the same spot where they missed your lure the first time, like I do in this instance right here. with the speed one. different looking than those offshore fish. Those offshore fish are so pale. So let's take a second and take a look inside the Plano Edge prop bait box. So here's the Plano Edge prop bait box. As you can see, pretty standard. Old style devil's horses, some custom baits, and then uh, the Berkeley Spin Rocket and the Rapala uh, Prop X box, uh, Prop X bait. Hold it right in the I think she's still there though. Ah, yeah, she's there. <laughs> As you can see, I'm making short twitches of the rod to pop the bait without moving it very much. You need to let the bait sit between pops, and oftentimes you will see the fish coming as it wakes the surface on its way to a violent strike. It's working. Get it, Tom. 
light of the day. If you enjoy this content, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. I would love to see your comments about your bass fishing experiences. I find it really interesting as much as I come in here how one day fluke, 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 fluke. And you can't get a bit of fluke the next day like for a while. It's all speed room or all, all top or something. It's crazy how it is. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's sitting there, Tom. I mean, it was just barely, just barely. A little better fish. Clobbering it. I got more of these uh, type of top waters if you want to switch yours out. Just let me know. Yeah. Oh man, it looked good from my peripheral. Yeah. <laughs> it sure did. Whack. Yeah. I thought he was a big dog. <laughs> All I saw was this was the flash and the mouth coming out. Like, oh boy. <laughs> I can see him though. Oh man. Oh, oh she got it. <laughs> just kind of a little sucked, better fish. Just sucked it down. I mean, she just uh, <laughs> didn't even make a swirl or anything. Part of throwing a topwater is knowing when to put it down. As the sun is getting high, the fluke is starting to take over, so I decide to run with it for the rest of the morning. Sorry, buddy. I come on behind you. Oh, Thanks for watching. If you're interested in taking a trip, hit me up at bassoldiers.com. And until next time, tight line.